Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be looking at this new exciting Mid Journey to 3D AI generator. It turns any Im Mid Journey generated image into a 3D into a 3D universe that you can actually walk in as I'm going to show you in the demos. Yeah, they just look perfect. Just look at uh, some of those shots. This is by Blockade Labs. Uh, these are the creators of uh, the Skybox AI generator I showed in a few videos previously. Today what they have done is on another level. You can now turn your Mid Journey generations into 3D using this new AI called Interverse. It's perfect for in-video artists who want to quickly prototype games get a feel of how the game might might look like and it's all done inside a browser on their website no installation no what no downloads just generate the image from somewhere like mid journey or you can use their own skybox generator and then import it into their interverse AI and it will create this world that you can throw a character in and walk around to see to get a feel of how your world would look like in case you want to play around and the worlds that are generated by this AI can actually be used in other applications and uh, if you go to the download button here you can see that uh, you have the option to download the texture and the depth map in the future we'll be able to download the 3d world that has been generated using the maps but uh, yeah let's jump in and i show you some of the examples uh, that they have here so i have this uh 3d environment uh, that uh, you can create using their skybox uh, lab ai so let me just go if you just move your cursor to the blockade lab here Click on that and uh, you will get there. Uh, by the way, you don't start the world like this. Uh, I'm in a 3D view. That's why you see I had a character. But I uh, usually start in a skybox view like this. Uh, it's flat and uh, you just have the ability to pan around. You know, you don't really see any depth. But uh, if you go to the 3D view, then you can see you get these options to navigate uh, the world. And uh, you even have the ability to add in a, char a character. You just have to click. You just have to click on the character here and that will give you a character to use then you click play and you can have a character that can move around and go through even uh, areas like that uh, as you can see so yeah if you hold down shift you can even make the character run so yeah this is all done in the world and uh, if you have generated your own world you can just click on this up import button here and uh, you can select the Skype texture you want say for example if I down if I had one from uh, from Skylab from the skybox so let me generate one here let's say river and a forest path with a path no digital paint I want something simple anime style generate okay so yeah I have generated uh, this for river and forest path and yeah, looks very, very good. Uh, and I, I think you also have to generate the depth. Okay, so I've generated another one with a depth map. So let's try to download this and see. Now you can see we have the skybox image and we also have a depth map. Uh, those, are, those two are required uh, for this. So I'm just going to come back here and uh, bring those in. So I'll select, uh, I think, this and select our depth map uh, as this and then hit import and uh, now if we go to 3d we should be able to have everything set up for us i can go to the game controller and insert my character now you can see we have an issue now our world it is too small so i'm going to first escape and uh, just increase the world size so that our character is within the world and i hit play and you see now uh, maybe my world is too big now, but uh, you can you, you you can see that uh, it's just it's generating something. Uh, again, you have to play with the settings to make things look good. Uh, let me just scale down the world size. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, it, in some areas it's not generating the detail. Like uh, these, uh, this bridge is not really looking very great. But uh, it, yeah, because of the more detail you have in your scene, the it likely that it won't capture all that detail but uh, yeah you can see some of the other scenes here yeah so I see this being very useful if you want to prototype a game and uh, you just want to see how everything would look I can quickly if you have a, a game idea quickly you can uh, just come into the skybox engine and uh, see how it works uh, type in your ideas uh, see the world it generates and uh, try and play them to get a feel of uh, how things might look yeah all links are going to be in the description if you want to check this out thank you